On our hand this week, we are going to de be defending and we will need to show great patience in order to defeat four hearts. In order to defeat four, four hearts, we decide to leave the top of our doubles and diamond because partner is marked with, with some values. We lead a diamond and partner plays the 10. So when partner plays the 10 and the ace comes down, we know partner hasn't got the queen because if partner had the queen, partner would have played it. Partner might still have the jack, but doesn't have the queen. But we won't give up on any idea of not being able to uh, uh, get a, a diamond rough. We will just be patient. Declare it now plays a heart and second hand plays low and partner wins the second trick with the king. Partner follows our defence and partner plays back a small diamond. Now that small diamond could very well be a suit preference asking for a club. However, when Declarer plays another heart, we're going to play low again. When Declarer plays another heart, we're going to take the ace and wait to see what partner gives us to tell us what his entry is. Well, even without partner giving us the entry, telling us where the entry is, we look and see that it's most likely to be in clubs, and the five of clubs confirms it's in clubs. We now play a club over to partner's ace, and partner plays another diamond, and we do eventually get our rough. And declare it's got the king of spades, and proceeds to claim the rest of the tricks. Now, had we thought our partner's entry was the ace of spades and switched to spades, Declare would be able to draw the last trumps and Declare would be easily able to make two spades, five hearts and three diamonds and even might be able to get the club away on the long spades. But we persevered, waited for the signal and we were able to get the ace king of hearts, the ace of clubs and one diamond rough to defeat the contract by one.